Hello everyone and welcome to grade 9 lessons. Today we are going to deal with lesson 10 uh, in uh, course book page 70 and workbook page 59. Before we um, begin this lesson, I will remind you with the natural disasters that we have studied. Look, uh, the most popular natural disasters are earthquake, hurricane, flood, wildfire, drought, uh, and tsunami. Now, look at the photos. What is happening in them? That means what is going on. Now, look at the first one. In this picture, as you can see, this man is loading his lorry with some supplies like food and in the second one here, we can see people are unloading the uh, sacks from the boat. Picture C, we can see the camp and lots of tents and here we can see the fresh water. In uh, picture D, we see the helicopter that going somewhere. Where do you think it is going to? And what do you think it is carrying or contain? Okay, after we discussed what is going on in on uh, these pictures, now I'll tell you something about the supplies. What kind of supplies or what are the supplies? What are the examples of supplies? When I say supplies, what do I mean by supplies? Supplies can be, for example, a fresh water, blankets, bread, clean clothes, um, plant seeds, something like that. So all these are examples of supplies. Now let's discuss the question before we begin with our task. What supplies might be in the sacks? Here on picture B, what do you think these supplies, what kind of supplies? I mentioned some examples and imagine what do you think is there in these sacks? How were supplies transported? In the picture, you can see three types of transportation method. The first one, the lorry. The second one, the boat. And the third one, the um, helicopter. What supplies would people need in the disasters? That means the people who are affected by natural disasters. What do you think they need? What do they need? For example, food and what else? You will discuss that. You will write that. Are there any supplies that are useful for some disasters and not others? For example, if some people are hit by earthquake and others are hit by wildfire, so do they need the same supplies or each one has its own supplies? What do you think? And also, are there any supplies that are common that means similar uh, to all? That means can be suitable to all. Uh, can you tell me some supplies that people need uh, even though they are hit by any one of these natural disasters? What are they? I'll give you two minutes to uh, write some notes on your sticky notes um, to answer these questions. Two minutes for that.
Thank you. Now let's begin with the listening task. Before we begin with the listening task, let's discuss those two questions. What do you think international aid is? What is the meaning of international aid? And what is international aid? What aid organizations operate in your regions? That means, uh, what, are the, uh, what are the organizations that existed in our country? And what do they provide? Now, according to international aid, international means global or universal, and aid means help. Now, international aid means global help or uh, universal help. That means when some country, uh, uh, some countries are hit by a natural disaster or um, have a conflict, uh, they need the help of other countries. So those countries. Um, help each other. Um, this kind of help we call it international aid. Now according to the organizations in our country we can uh, mention here the uh, Emirati Red Crescent which uh, always uh, helps uh, other countries when they are in need. Now we are going to listen now to Max who works as a volunteer for an international aid organization. What two things do such organizations provide? So you are going to listen and tell me what are the two main things that these organizations give to people who are affected by natural disasters. Listen. Good morning, Max. Good morning. You are going to tell us something about your work. What exactly do you do? I am an aid worker for an international aid organisation. We hear a lot about international aid on the news. But what exactly is international aid? International aid is the help and support given to areas that have been affected by natural disasters or conflict. It is usually given to the affected country by other countries around the world. I see. So, when you say natural disasters, what do you mean? The main natural disasters include earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, drought, famine, floods and landslides. What sort of aid is given? Money and aid workers, like myself. Money is one part of the aid. This is usually given to the country affected to help recover from the disaster. The other part of aid comes from immediate support. This support is given by people helping to provide the people in these areas with basic needs. For example, emergency supplies of food, fresh water, tents, blankets, torches and candles. These are given to the disaster area at no cost. Is all support the same for every disaster? It can be in some ways, but different disasters in different areas may require more of one type of aid than another. We also have to take into consideration the location of the disaster and how accessible it is. Some disasters hit places where there are very poor roads and railways, or there are none at all. Even flying to remote villages in disaster areas can be impossible. So. That means that there will be people hit by the disaster that we don't even know about. Yes, exactly. And even if we know about them, we might not be able to reach them. Okay, this is the end of uh, the listening. Now, uh, did you get the answer for the question here? What two things do such organization provide? Great, good job. So the first thing is money. So organizations provide people with money. And the second main thing is the aid workers. That means the volunteers, people who works in the organizations and their job to help or distribute the things or money or supplies to people who are in need. So money and aid workers, people who works, sorry, people who work uh, as volunteers. Next. Now complete the gaps 
using words from the box. Then listen again and check your understanding or check your answer. The words are support, conflict, basic needs, at no cost, natural disasters, supplies, money, international aid. Look, don't worry about the meaning because you are going to learn their meaning in the next slide. So now just listen to them or listen to the uh, um, talk by uh, Max and just write the correct word in the space. So you are going to listen again and fill in the space with the correct word from the box. Don't worry about the meaning now. You are going to learn them in the next slide. So start. Good morning, Max. Good morning. You are going to tell us something about your work. What exactly do you do? I am an aid worker for an international aid organization. We hear a lot about international aid on the news. But what exactly is international aid? International aid is the help and support given to areas that have been affected by natural disasters or conflict. It is usually given to the affected country by other countries around the world. I see. So, when you say natural disasters, what do you mean? The main natural disasters include earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, drought, famine, floods and landslides. What sort of aid is given? Money and aid workers, like myself. Money is one part of the aid. This is usually given to the country affected to help recover from the disaster. The other part of aid comes from immediate support. This support is given by people helping to provide the people in these areas with basic needs. For example, emergency supplies of food, fresh water, tents, blankets, torches and candles. These are given to the disaster area at no cost. Is all support the same for every disaster? It can be in some ways, but different disasters in different areas may require more of one type of aid than another. We also have to take into consideration the location of the disaster and how accessible it is. Some disasters hit places where there are very poor roads and railways, or there are none at all. Even flying to remote villages in disaster areas can be impossible. So. That means that there will be people hit by the disaster that we don't even know about. Yes, exactly. And even if we know about them, we might not be able to reach them. Okay, I'll give you now 30 seconds to manage your answers. Let's check our answers together. Now, the number one, international aid is the help and support given to areas that have been affected by natural disasters or conflict. Money is one part of the aid. This is usually given to the country affected to help recover from the disaster. The other part of aid comes from immediate support. This support is given by people helping to provide the people in these areas with basic needs. For example, emergency supplies of food, fresh water, tents, blankets, torches, and candles. There are, sorry, these are given to people in the disaster area at no cost that means for free those are the answer for task number two 
let's move to task number three which is vocabulary I'll give you two minutes to read the vocabulary here and their definition and match them together two minutes for this exercise okay great job good students so let's check together the answers first of all I'll read for you the vocabulary international aid support basic needs supplies conflict and natural disaster what do you think international aid mean great good job it is help that is given to a country by other countries support great it is to give money things or help to people who need them basic needs good job things that are essential to life or essential to live essential means important supplies supplies means food and everything that people need conflict great fighting between countries or groups of people natural disaster natural disaster means a natural event that may kill or injure many people those are the vocabulary or the most vocabulary we need in this lesson now in your sticky notes it try to write example about them use these uh, words or phrases meaningfully try to pause the video and um, write some examples about them uh, in your sticky notes next after you practiced um, learning some information about international aid and we have learned some new vocabulary we listened to a person who works in the international aid organization let's now practice doing these vocabulary um, most sentences here in this exercise mentioned in the listening task so now I'll give you two minutes to read the sentence and choose the most appropriate word to complete the sentences so they are very easy okay to choose 
So I'll give you two minutes to uh, choose the correct word to complete the sentence. Now let's complete the sentences with the correct word between slashes. Natural disasters include flooding, raining, uh, and earthquakes. So as you know that raining is something good, but when it rains too much, it will become a flood. So flooding is the natural disaster. International aid gives or receives as we have learned before that the international aid gives that means deliver distribute support to disaster countries helps the um, uh, countries which are affected by a natural disaster people living in remote villages or big cities may not receive support. One of the challenging or the problems that uh, face uh, the international aid organizations uh, is the uh, remote villages or the places that are hit by natural disasters, sorry, uh, are very far. So we say people living in remote villages, not big cities, may not receive support. Basic needs include fresh, clothes, or water. As you know, the uh, word fresh is an adjective uh, which is suitable for water. We can't say fresh clothes. We say fresh water. So fresh water. Poor or good roads and railways prevent supplies from reaching all disasters area um, prevent this word that um, people who would like to go to the places that are affected by a disaster uh, cannot cannot go through these roads so we can't say good roads we say poor roads poor streets International aid provides money and aid workers or builders. Okay, as we uh, learned from the first task that aid workers, people who work 
in the organizations, people who like to work as volunteers to help uh, other people who are in need. So we say aid workers. In the same page, workbook page 59, here we have a group of supplies, as you can see, and we have rank. That means you are going to give your own rank. Now, read this list of supplies and rank them in order. 10 is the least important and 1 is the most important. So try to order them according to you. What do you think? Which one is the most important uh, supplies? So which one is the most important and which one is the least important? right from 1 to 10 so number one as you as we said is uh, the most important and number 10 is the least important what do you think when uh, what is the most thing that people need um, for example fresh water or bread or whatever so according to you what is the most important and order them from the most important to the least important and give reason we are going to give reason in the second slide i'll give you one minute to rank or to order the supplies from the most important to the least important one minute for that Excellent. So, I hope that you all ordered them according to your understanding and to your needs. Imagine that you are in a place which is hit by a natural disaster and you are asked to tell what is the most important thing for you. And you are given this list of supplies. After you have ordered these supplies let's go to the reasons you are going to write sentences telling me why do you choose the most important supplies and the least uh, important supplies for example if you choose uh, fresh water and bread as number one and two we can say i think fresh water and bread are the most important supplies because they are basic needs okay you may you may put something different so tell me why do you choose this order here why do you choose this order here give reasons write sentences and it's better to write um, a paragraph okay it's okay if you want to write uh, sentences that's uh, great and if you uh, would like to write a paragraph it is better so as I mentioned here try to give reasons why do you choose this one why do you choose the order as I said I think fresh water and bread are the most important why because they are basic needs you have you may have another point of view write your own ideas express your own opinion and tell me after you finish please share your idea 
with your friends via WhatsApp or an email. Tell them what have you chosen, what have you written, what are the most important supplies for you, and why have you chosen this order.